Why should they subject themselves to the things that you continue to be on code for in your neighborhood? They come in, they rob and kill your neighbor and you got a no snitching policy. You don't even know what no snitching is. No snitching don't have nothing to do with whether or not you are a innocent bystander and you are a citizen. Listen, don't think for one second that Anton Daniels is not calling the police on you the minute that I see you doing something that's out of control. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Listen, Rita, what they doing over there? Hey, get the police on the phone. Anton is a concerned citizen. I don't believe in crime and I don't believe in stealing and all of that other kind of crap that's around me. We going to get you up out of here. We don't believe in that crap. OK, OK. We have to re-engineer the way that we think. We don't do this crap. We don't do this crap. We don't subject ourselves to this mindset. And as frankly, as far as I'm concerned, the police don't get paid enough to chase you hoodlums around. <laughs>
into the plastic bag and just walk out and that the security card can't even do anything because you can sue Walgreens if somebody's if somebody touch you. How backwards is society today? Let's continue. Um, the footage shows the suspects wearing masks, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Police said 14, they said the 14 suspects all escaped in the scene, all escaped, escaped the scene in three separate vehicles waiting for them. As of uh, Friday, Chicago Police Department reco recovered one of the three vehicles allegedly used in a theft. How ironic. A Dodge Charger reported stolen in October out of Chicago. No injuries were reported. No weapons were displayed. Police said Friday that the merchandise taken was north, was worth an estimated $120,000. Still developing. All right, cool. Sounds good, right? Makes sense. Your cousin and them, they got off a, a little bit easy. They got off, right? Now, check this out. Check this point out. Louis Vuitton store in San Francisco. Now, this just happened just recently. Louis Vuitton store in San Francisco's Union Square emptied out by thieves, six arrested, right? Six suspects were arrested in San Francisco on Friday night, accused of leaving a Louis Vuitton store in the city's Union Square shopping district emptied out. Other high-end retailers, including Fendi and uh, St. Laurent, were also struck. Police responded to an area around 8, 10 p.m. on reports of looting and vandalism. Videos posted on social media show Louis Vuitton windows smashed and showed us a mass suspect carrying a large amount of luxury merchandise and what appeared to be a getaway car. One video showed police officers on foot catching up to a suspected getaway car and using their batons to smash his windshields and windows. Although several suspects initially got away, police did great work. Basically, they got him in. <laughs> you know what happened. You know what happened. They got him in the room. They gave him some French fries and a cigarette. Once they give you a cigarette and they still got your hand handcuffed to the to that to that table, you already know he's telling. If y'all have not seen the force first 48 and seen people that tell, you know they coming for your homeboys. All you gotta do is catch one and you're gonna catch them all. Because they're not taking a charge by themselves. Once you get past what is it like two thousand, three thousand dollars, ain't it? Grand larceny or some crap like that? Hmm. Sir Shah said, yep, right in downtown San Francisco. Although several suspects initially got away, police did great work and ultimately apprehended six suspects. San Francisco has seen a rash of shoplifting and other retail crimes in recent months. Earlier this week, authorities linked a 41-year-old woman to a theft of more than $40,000 in merchandise from a Target store in the city. And... And they also know, they also know that you can't just do it once. You got to do it more than one time. We all know that. There's no way that most bank robbers, most people that do theft, most people that get caught up in something, they can't stop. They, they look at it as a career field and they do it forever. But here's the question that I'm asking myself. Is it worth putting your freedom on the line for the rest of your life. You are going to have a felony on your record. You are going to get caught up. You are no longer ever going to be in a position to get rich. You're not going to get rich off the scam or the scheme, right? You're never going to get into a position to where, check it out. I, I, let, me, let me share one more thing with y'all really quickly. This is funny. This is hilarious. San Francisco, because this is the question that I'm asking myself. San Francisco is now limiting car access to Union Square after the Louis Vuitton theft. Cars will be restricted in San Francisco's uh, Union Square after a shocking incident of retail theft on Friday night. San Francisco Police Department said in a statement it responded to, yeah, we already got to that, all right? Um, let me see something really quick. Right. Look, at them. Look at these idiots. Got two Look at this guy. Look at these people. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Man, they be
Just make sure Dang, I didn't know that was the, 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 the thing that happened. Was that worth it? Yeah, that's worth it. Look at them. They're gonna try to. They're gonna try to sue the police department now. Hold on. Let me rewind that one more time. That's the wait something. Got the yeah. mace out. Yeah. Just make sure they don't fucking shoot him, dude. Just make sure they don't shoot him. Ain't nothing worse than a thief. Was that worth it? Ain't nothing worse than a thief. Nothing. Nothing is worse than a thief. Saturday afternoon, the mayor and the police chief held a press con conference to condemn the thieves and announced coming changes to Union Square in the wake of the incident. Specifics has not yet been announced, but the restrictions are expected soon. We have to make it difficult for people to do what they just did last night, pull up right next to a business, shatter the windows, wipe out everything in that, that they can carry, get right in their parked cars at the curb, and then leave. Eight people have been, arre oh, eight people have been arrested now. Mm. Um, trust and safety are our core, core values, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, and this is the part that actually bothers me. This is the thing that kind of gets me into a pickle because I ain't know that was out there wrecking a car like that. Here's the thing, though, because one of the things that I've always been an advocate for, advocate for is getting away from the thing that we don't like the most. I don't want to hang out with you. It's certain concerts I won't even go to. Certain concerts that I won't even go to. Certain things that I won't even involve myself in. Certain certain environments. When I know that if certain things happen and on specific nights in the city, in Detroit, Anton is at the crib. I'm chilling. I got my ro remote in my hand. I'm watching YouTube TV. I'm watching a basketball game. I'm having a good time, so on and so forth. I don't even associate my, I think that you get to an age or a level of maturity where you realize that staying on cold is actually the worst thing for us. The thing that I always say is why don't people care until it starts to tap their front door and be on their doorstep? It reminds me of the opioid crisis. Like nobody cared until it started affecting their kids or it started coming in their sphere and it started affecting them personally, right? Now that it started, because have you ever been to the bank and you got to go through like, it, it closed the door. Like if you go to the bank in the hood, it closed the door behind you. You got to go through this metal detector thing or whatever like that to make sure that you don't have a weapon. And then it unlocks on the other side and all that other kind of crap. I don't do that. I don't like going to, places where they have protective plexiglass up. It's a lifestyle. It's a culture. I don't like doing that. When I walk into the bank, I go into the private client bank and then we be able to take care of business or whatever. And you just have good times and all that other type of stuff. But I don't like to subject myself to that type of lifestyle. And when you are on code with these people, Right. Because a criminal is a criminal no matter what. I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're black, white, whatever, so on and so forth. But when we celebrate this culture and we continue to embrace a certain type of lifestyle, it that's the worst for us, clearly, obviously. Then you start to bring it into your neighborhood and eventually there will be nowhere else for you to go because you're going to be priced out of certain areas and certain neighborhoods. And then you want to get mad and say, well, they don't have it over there where, well, that's the culture over there where they don't believe in that. Why should they, why should they subject themselves to the things that you continue to be on code for in your neighborhood? They come in, they rob and kill your neighbor and you got a no snitching policy. You don't even know what no snitching is. No snitching don't have nothing to do with whether or not you are a innocent bystander and you are a citizen. Listen, don't think for one second that Anton Daniels is not calling the police on you the minute that I see you doing something that's out of control. I'm, so, I'm sorry? Listen, Rita, what they doing over there? Hey, get the police on the phone. 
Anton is a concerned citizen. I don't believe in crime and I don't believe in stealing and all of that other kind of crap that's around me. We going to get you up out of here. We don't believe in that crap. Okay? Okay? We have to re-engineer the way that we think. We don't do this crap. We don't do this crap. We don't subject ourselves to this mindset. And as frankly, as far as I'm concerned, the police don't get paid enough to chase you hoodlums around. <laughs>